So the next part is of distributed leadership. And what is distributed leadership? Now, leadership traits spill out and is observed in a person by examining his behavior in the organization and how effective is his response to work. Now, distributed leadership would mean collaborative response intermingled with individual response. And that is a trait that looms to the fore, or that is a trait that is manifest clearly, or which is really seen in distributed leadership model. I'm repeating, collaborative response, where together they respond and it is an individual dis, uh, decision and there is individual contribution. So it is a collaborate, I would put it as collaborative response intermingled or intertwined with individual response is distributed leadership. I mean, that is a, a trait that could be seen in distributed leadership and that looms to the fore. That is what is normally manifest in distributed leadership. In simple words, distributed leadership is where leadership is distributed. It is not just confined to one person, uh, you know, at the top, but leadership is distributed to everyone down the organizational structure where they are allowed to decide on things and to, you know, work in the best interest of, uh, you know, the task that is allotted to them. They're normally professionals and it's, it's like where the professionals really understand the impact of their own decisions, um, the impact that would really make on the task that is allotted to them. So they're, the team, you know, they are given, you know, decision-making uh, is delegated to them and they're all trained to be leaders in their respective, uh, you know, field of contribution. For example, they may be the legal department there, so is, they are professionals. So they'll say, okay, the legal department, which is a part of social service organization, then you have the finance department. So they are, you know, say they have uh, taking the services of, uh, say, CAs, chartered accountants there, or ICWAs, cost accountants. So again, so, um, so they're all you know, professionals in the field. So they are uh, you know, entitled to take certain decisions relevant to their, uh, the, their field and relevant to, uh, to the goal or the, to, of the organization or something that is aligned to the goal of the organization, but something which comes within their mandate or within their department. So distributed leadership. It's just not that decision-making is confined to the top management, but it's, you know, it's, it trickles down the other departments and you have other departments also who will be taking the lead and in the departments again, uh, to, its, to the executives, they're again, uh, you know, trained to be leaders and to lead and to take decisions, they'll be team leaders and the managers and so on. So thereby distributed leadership is evidenced by collaborative response conflated with individual response characterized with positive synergy of shared responsibility. Again, shared responsibility is yet another feature that is seen in distributed you know, leadership. I'm repeating this collaborative response when there's something where they collaboratively respond, it is intermingled with individual professional response to the particular task that is assigned to them. And they, there is a positive synergy and there is shared responsibility and all of it, they, you know, wrote it towards 
common goal and achievement of a common task that may be given to them, which should be within the mandate of the organization. A distributed leadership, therefore, it breeds confidence, it multiplies confidence and is distinct from or is different from command and perform theory, where there is a boss and what boss says is final. So this leadership style, it breeds confidence and it's totally different from command and perform theory. Leadership tasks are distributed and thereby work from common achievable goals of the organization. It rolls around achievable goals of the organization where tasks are distributed and however, they all aim at achieving the common goal of the organization. So this is about distributed uh, leadership. Now, it doesn't mean that when there is distributed leadership, everything is perfect. So there is a possibility of error and how those errors are handled. And there is a possibility of conflict, but the danger in distributed leadership is sometimes there can be erroneous decision-making or wrong decisions that may be taken. However, the accountability part of it, who is responsible for it, the way they, you know, they get accountable for it or they're accountable for it, they stand for it. I, I believe that's one that makes the difference in distributed uh, you know, leadership. And so, these are two prominent uh, you know, leadership styles or leadership models that are prevalent in the social service sector. One is, of course, distributed leadership and self-leadership. Self-leadership is actually uh, you know, a significant factor for everyone, in, even in your normal lives, that you develop the traits of leadership and how you do it. I've given you the seven regal characteristics, the, the seven uh, uh, regal strategies, how you can implement it and how you can polish those leadership traits. So as a conclusion, thereby leadership in a social service organization must collect the principles of social justice. It must involve the principle of social justice with the aim of social reform, obviously, and towards to contribute towards the society. And these principles must align with the vision and mission of the organization to which individual or even personal efforts and verified, tried, tested, and in, informative practice must be used or appropriated accordingly. I'm repeating, it must align with vision and mission of the organization to which the individual response or efforts must be you know, put in there. And those efforts along with verified, tried and tested informative practice must be appropriated or used accordingly. So thereby we have completed the chapter on the two basic models which, are, which we bifurcated to uh, into self-leadership and distributive leadership. So that's all uh, for this class. Next class, I'll ask you to recapitulate what we learned today. Get ready with your assignments. I, I would just extend it for a week after that. However, during the week of extension, whenever you're submitting, there would be deduction of one mark per day of default. Uh, you've got ample of time now, still there's time, and uh, please work on it and start uploading your files. Uh, I will be checking it whenever, you know, it is scheduled for me to really check it, how I've scheduled it for me myself in my diary. I will be doing that. Don't worry about that, but I would encourage you that please, you do your part, and try to gain maximum marks. So that's all for today's class. Attendance I've already taken and I would be seeing the recording and I would be uh, marking your attendance. So that's it for now. See you next class. Bye-bye. Hello. Yeah. You have something to ask me? Yes, first, Mr. Martin. Yes, tell me. From from what day we are started our 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 easy in um, in uh, our easy issue in uh, uh, assignments at what day we are started as a, at at what day of end well the day the assignments were loaded were it was informed to you it is there in your google classroom it was uploaded somewhere in the mid of July. However, 
I think it's around, let me just tell you the last, the due date. Just give me a moment, please. Date, date, which date? It is there in your Google Classroom. So this tells me that you have not gone through your assignment. Just hold on, please. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it is possible to to question. die at the time of Mrs. Martin. Hi. Uh, the due date is August eleventh. Yes, this is Ali. I need to ask you another question, which is uh, related to the our 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 session. Uh, you were the one uh, who asked me about the assignment, right? No, no, another one. Uh, then hold no, on, the please. You too, but then hold on. One. You cannot shoot questions all, uh, you know, one time. Give the other person the opportunity to get his question addressed. <laughs> so Adam asked me the question about assignment, right? So Adam, it, the due date is 11th. Um, I, I encourage you to go through your Google Classroom and I encourage all of you to, you know, be vigilant on what is posted. It was posted long back. And it is posted 11, 11 of July, August. on July 19, as I said, stop talking, please. When I'm talking, don't interrupt me. Please bear with me and okay. understand me. So, okay. yeah, thank you. So July 19th, the assignment was posted and almost you get, you have got one month, almost from July 19th. So you had to be vigilant. And that's what was requested earlier even you know in my uh, you know the messages that i sent across to you via whatsapp in your group in your class group and also in your google classroom so the last date is 11th of august there will be no further extension no further extension absolutely however i would give you an opportunity to submit it if there is a, you know a reasonable cause within one week after 11th of August, however, with a penalty of minus one mark per day of default. I'm sure you, you, you know that your assignment carries 25 marks. Okay. I, I'm sure that answers Adam's question. Next, Ali. Ali, you were asking me something. If you want to, you may go on now. Okay. Another question is... Uh, most of our, my, most of our students are on working while we are uh, taking our period is uh, at 8 30 okay. p.m in the morning time okay. so at that time we are we are starting the work so can we change the time into a free time it is possible mr martin that is the question we need why because of our students, most of them are out of the PC. So can we change the time into another better time? Sure, Thank no you. problem. You can just take it one hour earlier. You can take it 7.30 your time. Is it okay? 7.30 your time. 7.30 a.m. in the morning instead of 8.30 a.m. your time. Yeah, madam, maybe it's okay, 7 that, uh, 7 .30. Okay, 7.30 instead of 8.30, okay? So, no. class leader, please make a note of it and please post it in your WhatsApp group. I will be sending it only, you know, next week whenever the class is due, next Thursday. Before that, I will be posting it. Class leader, please take the lead and put it in your WhatsApp group. Yes, uh, there's someone else who wants to ask me a question. You can lower your hand. Please uh, ask me. In my opinion, uh, from 6.30, from 6.30 to 7.30, how is it? That is my idea only. From yeah, you 6 ask your classmates. To 7 .30. Okay, so you ask your classmates. You can either keep it 6.30 or 7.30 from my side. It's fine. Discuss with your classmates and let me know by today evening itself. In case I do not see any message on the WhatsApp group from your class leader, I would take it as 7.30 is final. Bye. Okay, discuss okay, it okay, with the class leader because I, I cannot 